Nigeria, worse than we think, not as bad as we imagine. Nigeria can currently be described as a nation plagued with unrest, kidnapping, banditry, terrorism, tribal hatred, love of money, and the list goes on. This can, be the best, this can best be described as the worst times in Nigeria's history. That is, if we ignore the challenges that, that happened during the war, the Biafra War, the Civil War era. And thanks to social media, every event is adequately or overly amplified. Nigerians are not terrified, they are tired. Tired of hearing unpleasant news, tired of uncertainties, tired of bad economy, tired of dashed hopes, particularly from politicians. What is terrifying is the fact that the situation is actually worse than we think. Our problem goes beyond politics. It's our mannerism, it's our belief system, it's, it is who we are becoming. I'm shying away from saying who we are because it's still an ongoing transformation. Governments, or in this case, politics, only amplifies mannerism. You heard the story of the lady who claimed to be an orphan who had lost her limbs in an accident. What gave her out? Selfishness. When I went for, I mean, she, she refused to pay the people she was meant to pay or give them their share of the money. When I went for my NIN registration, I saw a guy at the center who was very angry, and rightly so. While I did, not, while I did mine without paying a couple, he says he had paid over 50,000 naira to get NIN number for four people. Yet, after three weeks, he didn't get his card. It is bad enough that you collect money but even after collecting the money, ripping the nation off, you fail to hold up your part of the bargain. Selfish act. In our nation currently, without any fault from our leaders, it is difficult to set up a company or open up a shop and put someone in charge while you travel out of town. We're becoming more and more untrustworthy, disloyal, but I won't say we're greedy. I just won't say that. Now, life is all about self and not society. As long as me, I did chop, hungry feet kill my neighbor. An average Nigerian complains today about bad governance and because he or she wants a change. But the truth is, he or she doesn't necessarily want a change. It is mostly because he or she is not getting a share of that cake. Once a relative gets into power, the rhythm changes, complaints cease, and suddenly what is bad becomes acceptable. If you're greedy as an average citizen, what do you expect such a citizen would do when or if he or she gets into politics? It will deprive you of every single thing you deserve. You expect a sudden transformation, a miracle that won't happen. But Nigeria is not all gloomy. We have experienced bad governance for many years. Now we've lost interest in the very existence of the country. We see Nigeria as the worst country in the world, even if the news we hear is fake or what happens here is happening in other countries. We insist Nigeria is the worst. We complain about debt to GDP ratio, when that really isn't the problem. Where Japan's debt to GDP ratio is over 200%, China is over 55%, UK is over 85%, US is over 106%, even Ghana next door is over 60%. Nigeria's debt to GDP ratio is 30%, and we're giving a talking point to keep criticizing our country not the politicians. We don't even feature among the top five in Africa. There are countries in West Africa where they have 24-hour light, but residents in the capital city cannot afford to pay for light because of poverty, so they live in darkness while all their neighbors have light. So when we call our nation poverty capital because of certain research outcome that we have not challenged, we become the laughing stock. If you hear about corruption, and corrupt practices in other parts of Africa, you will shudder, I tell you, at the fact that other African countries and even in the West experience this. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should encourage corruption. All I'm saying is that if other equally corrupt countries are able to attract investments and global respect, why can't we in Nigeria? Why can't we all call out our corrupt leaders but do well to honor our country. One thing we forget is that when we call our country the, worst, the most corrupt country in the world, we're not talking about politicians. We're talking about the citizens because we are the Nigerians the world is interested in, not the politicians. When we call our country a zoo, it doesn't make us zoologists. 
it makes us the animals. And the zoologists in this case are the politicians. We hate our country so much that we never miss an opportunity to run it down. An investor can work in a corrupt government because that affords him or her an opportunity to undercut the nation and cut away money. But an investor cannot invest in a zoo or in a Jaga Jaga Nigeria because we would, he feels it wouldn't be safe. Nigeria is worse than we can think because we ignore the fact that we need an attitudinal change. But it is not as bad as we imagine because whatever we are going through now, other nations have experienced it, have overcome it, and they are even bigger and better, and we can do the same. In the words of the Ghanaian president, Nana Dodanko Akufuado, I say to you, let's be citizens and not spectators. Let's start a new hashtag. Be Nigerian. I am Nigerian. Do a video on the great things you are doing. Let the world see you as Nigerian they know not about, because you are the one they care about. I want to strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> it's your rosy poetry <laughs> that you wrote. I think that the part of it that I, that I like is um, where you said um, the people that are looking at us from outside and, you know, it's, it's, it's not the politicians, it's no. us. Yeah, it's and so Nigeria. truly, I mean, fantastic. It's not the, it's not the country, it's the politicians. It's politicians. Mm. So, so truly, we the citizens have a lot to, to, to play in what is, has happened to the country. Yes. Because it's not just about the leadership, it's also in the little things we do. Mm. When you, do you stop at the traffic light? When you go to the bank, they say line up. Do you line or you shunt or you pay the person in front to get to the front? Mm -hmm. All those little things, like the one you said, the NIA man, should the NIA, should he be paying anybody mm -hmm. 50K anybody to get uh, exactly. um, whatever? So mm -hmm. it's even those little intangible things. But I'm sorry, I don't know whether it's like an ostrich burying the head in, in the it's sand. The if yeah. there's no, it's not working, because I, can't, I, I don't know how you want me to say it. Mm -hmm. They are biting me, they are strangling me, they are suffocating me, and you say, no, I'm breathing. I don't, no. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Let, let, me okay. say, let me say the record right now. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Okay. You see, we waited on politicians for so long to change Nigeria, and they keep failing us. And I, of course, I believe a lot of us here have people we've trained, we've grown. And you hear motivational speakers, thought leaders tell you that listen, the fact that your father didn't send you to school, you didn't have education, you had a poor background, doesn't mean you cannot make it in life. Mm -hmm. So, what are they telling you? That ignore all the challenges around you, and you make an effort to be the change. And that's all we are saying that, listen, if you keep waiting for politicians that, okay, let's wait till 2023, we'll bring in another set of people, you're still going to experience the same thing. However, if we in our own little corner start respecting and honoring ourselves, ignoring the politicians, we can't ignore them because we need Talk. to vote and get them out. But doing our own little thing to make that impact. Because let me give you an example. I was telling someone that even Twitter went to Ghana, but I can bet that if Twitter had set up a company the headquarters in Nigeria. Nigerians would have really good Nigeria. Twitter, you know, see better country good. And Nigeria can't find say one concept or country. <laughs> this country will not in the world. You get it. And those things really tarnish the image of Nigeria. Those are the angles. So, do we have enough Nigeria Nigerians who are ready to join your the bandwagon that you are talking of. Well, do we I think have, he's saying do, that. Do we have enough Nigeria? Praise Nigeria. Call out the politicians. The politicians. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Point so the we, fingers to who is to blame. We, because um, over the years, you know, you were talking about, do you stop at traffic light? Do you do this? Do you do that? You would find that um, at a stage, you could just get frustrated because it seems you are the only person doing the trying right to do thing. the right thing. Yes. There was one morning that um, <laughs> a, a cab was taking me out. And the man stopped at the traffic light quite early in the morning. If you if they you see how they hung behind oh him, then when he finally that. moved, <laughs> if you see the, if you hear the way he was abused, insulted. <laughs> That's it. I think which we is, are actually in 2015. Then. I was taking a class just before the election, and I said to my students, "Okay, now we want to elect a new president. Can anybody here raise up their hand and say I want to be the new president?" And of course, we're like, yes, now I can be the new president. But I said, but you're still a Nigerian. When you get there, you still do the same thing that Bwari is doing. Because we have selected our president from within ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this is who we have as a person. Yeah, we have lost our mannerism, yeah, as you yeah, said. Yeah. We, 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 humanity, yeah. like you said, yeah, the yeah, policeman. Yeah. Where is basic, simple humanity mm -hmm. and kindness to the next person? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying that don't be Superman. Just, just be a normal person. Well, but we are uh, not a normal let me, person. Let me just, uh, sorry to cut you in. Uh, 
I think it was Chino Achebe that said that nations get the nations people nations get the, we get the nations we desire. Sure. You, you cannot divorce the country from, from the people in it. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I'll extend it to say that instead of shooting the blame on the politicians, we should put the blame on us. Nigerians. Each and every one of us are guilty as charged, right? So I think well, it's, it turns down to, it comes down to the issue of reorientating our values. And I also like the 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 hope aspects which you exuded in your script, showing sure. that things can actually get better. Yeah. As much as things are so bad out there, I think uh, once in a while, when we hear a message of hope, it helps to uh, inspire. Um, inspire that things will actually get better yeah. beyond what it is today. Can I just ask a question as we round off? <laughs> what exactly do you want to expect of us so that we, we will not be in our heads anymore? No, the, the basic thing to do is for us to just love our country. Let me give you an example. Okay. The, the president, the head of the, is the executive secretary of the AFCTA headquarters in Ghana, yeah, he, he, he did a, he sent a, ma a mail out recently where he said, he came into Ghana, he was diagnosed to have a COVID positive, but he went out, did test at two other labs and it was declared negative. So he released the issue. Now, generally straighten it said, it is bad enough for the country. I can trust Nigeria to have lambasted, lambasted Nigeria. But you know what the generally said? Listen, you are diplomats. Why did you have to make it public? Why didn't you write the president? Why didn't you write to challenge the Ghana Health Service? You are a mighty man. Why do you have to make it public? That is a journalist that is defending the nation. Although he later called out the Ghana Health Service. But he first of all went out and defended the nation. Because the image of the nation Mantis. is bigger than that of the president to anybody. Certainly. So protect Nigeria. Protect Nigeria, that's it. Let's start the hashtag. Okay. Protect Nigeria. Sell the Nigerian brand. That's yes. it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so... Up next is Omani, and he's saying we should let our boys do the cooking. Boys can cook to save their lives. Stay with us. <laughs> 